Wow. Bad news for Morning Joe's Mika Brzezinski after her daughter's secret comes out to haunt her. President Trump is at war with Mike Brzezinski and her dopey partner Joe Scarborough. Trump has tweeted badly about them numerous times because they constantly criticize him on their Morning Joe show. Their show reportedly has low ratings and maybe they're trashing Trump to try and save their show. Trump fires back via Twitter, his number one weapon. Mika might say things back and it really just seems like two teenage girls fighting in high school. But Dennis came out. Mika's daughter is a Trump fan. As the war between President Trump and the media continues to escalate, especially with MSNBC's Morning Joe host Mika Brzezinski, a new revelation has been made. Brzezinski's daughter, Emily Brzezinski Hoffer, is a Trump supporter. A photograph of her in a Make America Great Again hat was found on her Instagram account with the words hashtag Make America Great Again written by her in the caption. Archive of the page available here. Via Heavy, Mika Brzezinski was married before, to Jim Hoffer, they divorced in 2016. They have two children together. One of their daughters is named Emily Hoffer. According to Emily's LinkedIn page, she is a student at John Hopkins University. Emily's page says she is the sports editor for her college newspaper as well as a marketing intern for Global Citizen in New York. She also served as a summer intern for U.S. Senator Elijah Cummings, a Democrat from Maryland. Emily is a political science major at John Hopkins. In high school, she was a member of the Young Democrats and ran varsity cross-country. Emily is the first name of Mika's mother. OMFG that's hilarious. Trump should call her and set up a meet and greet at the White House. How great would it be for Trump and Mika's daughter to take a selfie together and send it to Mika? You want to talk trash about President Trump while your daughter runs around in a Make America Great Again hat? Be my guest. That's a wonderful way to slap Mika right in the face with a hot serving of hilarity. Meanwhile, Joe is probably sitting there like a dum dum while Mika gets served by the Trumpster and her own daughter. This is the part where Joe fades into the bush like Homer Simpson and re-emerges on another show with a different name. If you're talking trash about people to get ratings, then make sure your own kid isn't a fan of the people you're trashing. That's a complete backfire. There's other ways to reach for ratings, but I guess when your show sucks as bad as Morning Joe, then you've got to sink to the bottom of the barrel and reach into the dumpster like a homeless person grabbing a half-eaten sandwich from three days ago. Maybe Mika and Joe can join the haggard beasts on The View and they can all suck at life together. Damn Trump, that's savage. What's funny about facelifts is that everyone knows when you've had them. People don't grow old and have flat foreheads that look stretched out like a piece of bubble gum. That's not natural. On most people, they look okay, but don't think we don't know. Everyone can tell. But Trump took it to another level of savagery and blasted her facelift on Twitter letting everyone know he didn't want anything to do with her at mar a lago Over 78,000 people liked the tweet which is even more savage, because that many people read it and probably laughed. Then over 20,000 people shared it, showing it to even more people, making Mika look like a desperate facelift woman trying to get some quality time with Trump. Nevertheless, she persisted, but Trump still said no. I went to Emily Brzezinski's Instagram account to dive into some further research, but her account is listed as private. I was trying to stalk her pictures and see if there's any more Trump hits or maybe a mega dress, but no such luck. It's probably very wise for her to keep that account locked and only accessible to friends only. There's no reason she needs media hounding her or bothering her because of the things her mother does. You know if it was unlocked that some idiot media person would harass her for information about her mother and that's not cool. Checking for Trump hits in her pictures is okay, but bothering her is not. It's okay to question Mika instead. What does the future hold for the morning Joe? Are they done? Did Trump bury a hatchet in them so badly that they'll be gone soon? What will Mika and Joe do next? Maybe they can join CNN and their sinking ship and all be fake news together. The fake media needs to stick together so they all keep their jobs. Or just report real news and stop with the fake news nonsense. I think we've had enough of it already. Also, what kind of parents name their daughter Mika? Seriously folks, WTF is that?
Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.